Mzozo unatokota baina ya wapangaji na wamiliki wa jumba la biashara la elimu liloko katikati ya jiji la Nairobi kufuatia hatua ya wamiliki wa jumba hilo kuanza kubomoa na kufanya ukarabati pasi na kuwapa ilani yoyote na ingawa wenye nyumba wanadai kufuatia hatua na taratibu zote wapangaji wanadai kuhujumiwa kwenye mchakato mzima ambao unadaiwa kuendeshwa na kutekelezwa kwa hila Shirin Amiralit na familia yake wamekoa pangaji kwenye jumba ili la elimu jijini Nairobi kwa zaidi ya miaka hamsini. Ila matukio ya vima ajuzi ya meanza kuatia wasiwasi na kuibua hali ya suito fahamu kuhusu pangaji wao jumbani humu. Hii ni baada ya umiliki wa jumba kuataka ondoke ili wafanyo ukarabati. Agizo ambalo umekataa kabisa kuliti kwa kushikili ya kwamba wakupokea ilani wala agizo lolote. My clients got a notice at the beginning of this year on February 14th that they should repair the premises that is not good for the health of both the passersby and the tenants within here. In 2015 we had a court case with the landlords and the landlords at the end of the day didn't bring the documents that were supposed to do. Then this year they went and renewed their licenses you know, for the for the approvals now we they got a hoarding yeah on the renewed license and they knew that we had a court case here a tenant who enjoys a control tenancy cannot just be evicted there, there is a due process to be followed so we have been those proce proceedings are still pending in the in the tribunal and the landlord has not fixed any hearing date for that, uh, uh, for that case na ingawa wapangaji katika jumba hili hawana tatizo kuondoka shida yao ni kwamba taratibu zifaazo na haki zao hazikuzingatiwa wanadai kutokuwepo uaminifu na ukweli katika semi na madai wa miliki wa jumba we are not trying to evict anyone we are just trying to continue the repairs for the general safety that's why we even put the holding here because no one can walk in a building that's been constructed jumba hili limesheni mseto wa biashara ukiomo uzaji wa vyombo vya nyumba mitambo na vifaa vya muziki na aina nyinginezo nyingi za biashara lakini sasa nyingi za biashara zimefungwa kufuatia ubomoaji unaoendelea na ingawa mwenyekiti wa jopo la kutatua mizozo ya kodi ya majumba ya biashara mbichi mboroki alizuru eneo hili na kutoa agizo kwa mwenye jumba kusitisha shughuli zote hadi kesi zilizoko mahakamani zikamilike ufanye biashara wanahisi uamuzi huo ulichelewa kama sisi iko na sheria tunakaa Kenya kama ni nyumba yako unataka mtu andoke unaenda kwa koti na petia notice ambapo nakana eh lakini hapo ni kama ni kama jungle law wana kuja tunafunja yeah, four generations we've been born here yeah where do we go if the law doesn't help us and we have issued with the modas to protect the tenants so now shall we shall address the issue later kilio cha ufanyi biashara ni uamuzi na hatua ya mwenye jumba kuatimua pasi na kuzingatia utaratibu ufao na haki zao shadra miti kete news na viongozi kutoka kaunti ya Kericho wamepinga juhudi za serikali za kuhamisha watu katika msitu wa Mau. Gavana wa Kericho Paul Chepkonyi amesema kwamba serikali inatakiwa kusubiri uamuzi wa mahakama ya Afrika Mashariki ambapo kesi hiyo ipo. kuwaje tuko na gazete forests ambazo hatujakuona ukipanda miti tuko na timborua miti iliangushwa license millers waliangusha miti hatujakuona ukienda ukipanda miti mto zetu zimekauka hatukuoni ukizunguka kupanda miti itakuwaje kazi yako ukiamuka ukilala ni mau hatuwezi kubali maneno ya mau ifanyiwe siasa Unapatia wa Kenya title lead alafu narudi kusema title lead ni fake. Hiyo ni maneno gani? Sisi kama viongozi wa pande hii tungependa kusema serikali iti sheria. Sheria ni sisi wote tuna hakuna mtu mwenye ako above the law. Ningetaka kuhimiza serikali na maafisa wa serikali ya saa ya kwamba wanakushughulikia ili swala la mao waishughulikie bila kuangalia ni kabila gani ama ni kabila gani 
kwa vile sisi wote wa Kenya tuko sawa Bunge la Kirinyaga limesitisha vikao vyake kwa wiki mbili kutokana na mzozo kuhusu kamati ya uongozi katika hoja ambayo iliwasilishwa na kiongozi wa wengi katika bunge Kamao Murango wawakilishi wa wadi waliahirisha vikao hadi Septemba 4 kundi moja linaloongozwa na Kamau lina wawakilishi wadi 23 huku kundi pinzani likiwa na watu kumi na likiongozwa na John Kanga I wonder how a member supports a motion on the floor of the house and then petitions the same motion, Mr. Speaker. And I, I feel some of the members who don't understand maybe the procedures of the house, Mr. Speaker. Because whatever has transpired on the floor of this house, Mr. Speaker, was unanimously supported by all members, even the 10 in court today until death. The reason why we adjourn the, the assembly is because there are members in this house. Instead of doing what is expected to Wajiku, because Wajiku has given us mandate, instead of us concentrating on ensuring that the work of Wajiko uh, in the, on the ground. We are doing what we are supposed to do, Mr. Speaker. One thing, Mr. Speaker, I think it's a saying that goes law has no defense, and we want to say this county assembly is guided by the law and the supreme law, the constitution, whereby there is the article on the matters of expression. Everybody has the right to express.